Thank you so much, Joe. And camp, summer camp can be a great time for busy moms and busy people to take a break. But you might find yourself wondering what you can do with your newfound free time. That is why we went down to Creekside's Fabrics to get a little lesson in quilting. Creekside Fabrics is taking the art of quilting into the 21st century. It's very social. It's very fun. It's a destination opportunity. It's a girlfriend's day away. It's creativity. It's a way to celebrate things. It's evolved over the years. It's no longer sitting and stitching uh, in a quilting bee. It's very high tech and it's very, very user friendly. If you've never sewed before or you want to brush up on your skills, Creekside offers classes taught by a great staff. We have the beginner class, which is Quilting 101 with our Joan, and she teaches you right from the get-go. Um, cutting fabric, piecing fabric, putting it together, quilting it, and then binding it. And the hardest thing for most people is color. They are not sure it's going to all go together. So our job is to guide them without telling them. And I love this piece. Would red be my first choice? Yes. Would green? No. But it works well together and you're building the quilt, not me. After picking out the fabric, we cut them into the strips according to the pattern. For this, you're going to need a ruler, something to cut with, and precision is key. You want to make sure the pieces are exactly the size the pattern says. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out um, and laid out, what's the next step? We're going to start first with our first row. We need two of your green squares, okay. and we need one brown square, and you're going to sew them together so that they make a row. So you're going to okay. sew that one to here and then that one to there. Okay. So you're going to start with by putting this one together and you always want to put them right sides together. We continued on sewing strips together until we had attached all the pieces. Now you might have noticed that the sewing machine I was using is state of the art. But don't worry if what you have at home isn't brand new. You don't need a high-tech, brand-new, modern sewing machine to do quilting. All of the basic, we have ladies who use machines that they've been using for, you know, 40 years. At this point in making a quilt, you would add backing and batting to your quilt top. And the last step to making your quilt is you're actually going to quilt it. And you're going to sew all three layers of your quilt together. We have a backing, we have a batting, and we have your quilt top that you just made. Now we're going to stitch them all together. This is the long arm quilter. This machine is as simple as you're going to press the stop start button. And then just move it. Right. Okay. It will slow down and speed up in order to keep up with you. And it keeps your stitches a nice uniform length. When all of your pieces are done and you think your quilt is finished, you still have one more step. Like any piece of art, you want to label your quilt. Years ago, no one labeled their quilts. And when you're looking at this exquisite piece, you want to know the person behind it. This is going to tell us that Matt from Winging at Buffalo made his first quilt with us. And we we're so proud of that. All right, well, thank you for having me. Well, it was, thank you for I had coming. so much fun. With all the advancements made in quilting, you can have a wonderful keepsake in hours. And I will have to say that I have never quilted before, and after the session, I walked away with this uh, pretty, pretty cool piece of art right here. So uh, I definitely recommend it. It's awesome. But now we're going to head over to the Kitchen World Kitchen, where Emily is making what I think is a work of art herself. 